Welcome to your tutorial on how to use your new membership platform, Your Membership. We at the Association of Black Psychologists have been working very hard to ensure that you have a very robust membership as well as a very interactive membership, especially during this time of COVID. We want to sure, ensure that every member has the capability to connect with members across the country and around the world, as well as have a one-stop shop platform for all membership transactions. During this brief tutorial, you will learn how to log into your membership account, renew your membership, update your profile, and use the membership directory. To log into your membership account, you will need to go to the National AB Psy website, www.abpsy.org, and click on the membership button in the top right hand corner of the screen. Clicking on this button will take you to the Your Membership, as you can see, at the address is abpsy.ym. That is the subsequent membership site that will allow you to input your membership login credentials beneath the button for the login with LinkedIn. You will put in your username and you'll put in your password and you will click the sign in button. By looking there at the address, you will know that you're logging into the your membership account When you click the sign in, it will take you directly to your profile. Here, you can update your profile or make any changes that you would like that may have made. You could create a personalized URL. You can change your username by clicking the change button and inputting and confirming your new username and hitting submit. If you wish not to make any changes, just click on do not change username. Also from this menu, you can manage your email preferences. If you would like to receive any of the correspondence that we do send through email, you can select any or all of these or none of them. But whatever changes you make, please ensure that you click the Save Preference button. Once the changes have been saved, you'll get a message that your email preferences have been updated. You can click the X or you can just wait for the window to disappear. Below that, you can update all of your personal information, your, your birthday, your mailing address. And we do wish that you do update your mailing address and make sure that it's complete with your post, your zip code, your state, your city. This way you will make sure we'll make sure that when we do send out the um, if you request to have your um, journal mailed to you, it will be received at the correct address. You can select your gender and anything that has not visible in profile will not be seen by any of the members when they view your profile. Below that, you can go to, you can update your professional information, the organizational that you work for, or if you're self-employed, you can update all that contact information as well too. Below that, you have additional information such as areas of specialty. You can list the schools that you attended, how you identify as a psychologist, any certifications that you may have if you have them, and also your educational credentials. And also we have a Go Green initiative that we are letting members select if they want to have receive hard copies of the you know the emails or the brochure of the journal of black psychologists or even their membership renewal forms or if you would just like to receive them an email you can do that as well too so if you would like to receive them you can select all of those all of the preferences here 
And that way you only receive electronic copies of any communications that we send as opposed to hard copies of them. And again, any changes that you make, please hit the save changes to ensure that your changes have been updated. <clears throat> Once you've made those changes, you'll go back to a condensed version of your profile. This is pretty much what the members will see once they log in, but you can still go into any section of that your profile and edit it without having to scroll down. This will take you directly to that area and you can make any updates that you wish. And again, it saved changes to any changes that you have made. Now to renew your membership, you will click on your profile. You will go inside your profile again. And on the left-hand side, you will see the menu items profile, information and settings, payment and history, content and features, professional development. To renew your membership, you will go into the payment and history. When you click on that menu item, you will go into your invoices. Any invoice that is open that has not been paid will appear on this screen. As we are doing our new campaign, we'll be sending out invoices, encouraging everyone to renew their membership before it expires at the end of the year. So if you have an open invoice here, you can pay your selected invoice, you can go in and you can renew your membership. Also on this screen, you have any event registrations. So any events that you have registered for, you can go into that item, that um, menu item, and you can see any of the events that you've registered for that are coming up or that have already occurred. Also, you can go into your membership. This item, will, this will actually allow you to see and print your new membership card. As we are trying to go green and not print as many membership cards, this way you'll have your membership with you, your membership card with you wherever you are. You can always just log into your membership account, click on view or print my membership card, and then just print your membership card wherever you are. So if you happen to lose your membership card, you don't have to contact the national office. You could just go into your account, you can print it and you always have it with you. And then the last menu item at the top of here is in your donation history. Any donations that you have made to any of the, uh, any of the programs or any of the funds that we have, you, you, that would be listed here as Giving Tuesdays have come about. We definitely want people to, to use their donations. To, we definitely want people to donate to all of the uh, programs we have, like the Elders of Elders, the Student Councils. Right now, we can definitely um, you help you, have, you know, use your help. Now, the directory is another feature of the Your Membership platform that is very special for us. You can go in this and you can actually do a basic search. You can search for any member in the country by name. And all the members will come up. Or you can search for specific groups that are in which in the database. Or you can actually search for a member within a certain state. So you select the, the country. You can select the state. And you can select search, click on search. And we'll have no members there, but any member that will be in that criteria would be listed there. And then your advanced search here is you can actually go in and select members by status. So if you want to look for all lifetime member, a lifetime professional, you can just click on lifetime professionals, hit continue. And then you can even narrow it down if they're in certain groups or if there are certain regions or locations, and you can search from there. And it will list all of the members that meet the criteria that you've put into the search engine. Again, this is just a brief tutorial of some of the things that you can do with your new membership platform, your membership. It's a very robust platform and as time goes on and people get more acclimated to logging into their membership account and using the platform, we'll be developing more tutorials on more of the bells and whistles that this platform offers. 
We definitely want you to get as much out of this platform as we know that you can and to make your membership a more robust membership with the Association of Black Psychologists. Thank you.